good morning. This is Mel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. So today we're going to talk about comparison and arrangement of decimal numbers. Ipapakita ko sa inyo ang pinakamadaling paraan kung paano mag-compare ng decimal numbers. Let's take number one as an example. So we have here 1 and 396,000 compared to 9,500s. So first, we would have to arrange or i-arrange natin yung mga numbers or given decimal numbers vertically. At pagpapantayin natin sila from the decimal point. After this, we would um, check or compare the numbers from left to right. Starting with the whole numbers o yung mga nasa kaliwa ng decimal point. So in this example, ang ating whole numbers ay 1 at 0. So with this, you can easily see na, ang, na, na number 1 is greater than 0. So that means 1 and 396,000 is greater than 9,500. And for our example number 2, we have 2,900 compared to 3 tenths. So same drill, iahanay lang natin siya at pagpapantayin from the decimal point. And then as you can see here, mako, medyo mako-confuse kayo dito dahil magkaiba yung dami ng decimal numbers. So ang kailangan natin gawin ay maglagay tayo ng placeholder para maging magkapareho yung dami ng decimal numbers. In this case, mag a tayo ng 0 sa kanan ng 3. Okay, so since magkasing dami na sila ng place value, then mas madali na nating compare ang ating decimal numbers. So again, ang pag-compare ng decimal numbers is from left to right. So since, as you can see here, yung whole number natin ay parehas na zero, okay, so walang value yan. Next naman ay dun sa tenths place. So sa tenths place, we have number 2 and number 3. At alam naman natin na 3 is greater than 2. So that means 29 hundreds is less than 3 tenths. Number 3, we have 6 and 5 tenths compared to 6 and 500 thousands. Okay, so ihanay ulit natin siya from the decimal point. And since um, magkaiba ulit yung dami ng ating mga decimal numbers, maglalagay ulit tayo ng placeholder para maging magkasing dami ang number ng decimal numbers. So maglalagay tayo ng dalawang zero sa 6 and 5 tenths. And then from here, we can now compare from left to right. So ang whole number natin, parehas na 6. And nasa tenths place natin, parehas na 5. Ang nasa hundreds place natin parehas na zero. Ang ating nasa thousands place ay parehas na zero. So we can conclude that six and five tenths is equals to six and five hundred thousands. And then yung last example natin is seven and four tenths compared to seven and forty nine thousands. So um, ihane ulit natin siya from the decimal point at maglagay ng placeholder para maging magkasing dami ang ating decimal numbers. So maglalagay tayo ng dalawang zero sa kanan ng 4. Compared ulit natin or compare ulit natin from left to right. So from the whole number, ang whole number natin ay 7. So parehas na 7. Um nasa tenths place natin ay 4 and 0. So alam naman natin na 4 is greater than 0. So we can conclude that 7 and 4 tenths is greater than 7 and 49 thousands. That's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope may natutunan kayo and see you on my next video. God bless you all. Goodbye.